Nee. 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 Hello, speaking. Oh, hey Nintendo, how's it going? You've released a classic console. What is it this time, the Game Boy? The Game & Watch? Oh yeah, that's not too bad. So what kind of stuff can it do? Oh, it plays Game & Watch games. Just one. Ah. What, Mario Bros? No, 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 no. We, we, none of us have played that in years. Nah, those Amazon consoles don't have Mario Bros. 50 quid. $70. Yeah, I'm sure they won't mind. No, no, that's a very reasonable price. Okay. Yeah, I look forward to seeing it. All right, thank you. Bloody hell. Hello, speaking. Oh, hey, Sega. Yeah, I got the nudes. Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome back to the Retro Future. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Game & Watch colour screen Super Mario Bros. Which one is it? Come on. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Uh, Nintendo haven't released a little classic console in a while and what better one to review on this channel than a handheld one? I'm really excited. The Game & Watch obviously is what kick-started uh, Nintendo really and put them on the map. Uh, made by Gunpei Yokoi. Is that right? That's probably horribly wrong. I do a lot of research. It is £50, which is a lot of money to pay for one of these things, which is $70. US But it does look fairly good. You know, it's got a colour screen, it's got USB-C, it's got a few different games to choose from, and the list pretty much ends there. So this was meant to arrive last week, uh, except it didn't. Um, so now I'm one of the last people making a video on this thing, which isn't too bad, you know, better late than never and all that, but I'm sure most people have probably formed their opinion on this. I have refrained from watching other people's videos so that I can try and form my own opinion, uh, and this is going to be a first look. I'm not going to have played this thing previously. I haven't seen one yet either in, in the flesh. Um, but yeah, just a quick look at the box. I really like what they've done here. When you take the, um, you know, the, the sort of the sleeve off, it's like the classic... Uh, game and watch box. This is sort of designed I think made to look like the old ball game except on ball I believe there was only two buttons um, whereas now you've got a whole directional pad and we'll get into why that, that is in a, just a second and that second has now arrived is because it plays Super Mario Bros. As if we needed another way to play Super Mario Bros. Have you ever been on Amazon and typed in games console and see what the first bloody listing is? I mean why have they put that on there? It's so pointless. And then there's only one actual Game & Watch game. That is so disappointing. Imagine, just for one minute, if they had put every single Game & Watch game on here with a nice backlit screen and a USB-C rechargeable battery. How hard could that have been? How hard? No, we've got Super Mario Bros on here. We've also got Super Mario Bros 2, the Lost Levels, fantastic. And we've also got Time. There we go, look at that. Special thanks to you. That is very Japanese. That That's really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, the box is fantastic. Let's, uh, let's all agree, the box is lovely. What? They've included a USB-C cable. Well, that has really set this off to a, a good start. I mean, it is literally, what is that, 10 centimeters long? <laughs> what is the size of that? And finally, here it is. Wow, it does look very smart. It feels great. Is that real metal? Feels like it. It's past the teeth test. The plastic looks absolutely original. I should have gotten a Game & Watch. Enter my retirement fund. Here's a couple of Game & Watches. The one that's gonna be most similar is this one. This is sort of what they mostly all look like. Obviously there were some exceptions. You know, you had the double screen ones and stuff. This is a really iconic one. Uh, but yeah, this thing looks absolutely legit. Look, they've got the same sort of texture on the back there. Uh, they have put tri-wing screws on it, which kind of sucks because this one had some sort of a weird like flathead thing going on. But yeah, look at how authentic the back of that looks. This isn't, by the way, their first time doing a remake of the Game & Watch. They actually did a remake of Ball for Club Nintendo. You used to be able to purchase that on the Club Nintendo website. And uh, yeah, I'd love to do a side-by-side -side comparison of that, but I don't have it. The buttons feel great. That is the first time I'm pressing that D-pad, and it does feel good. It's a bit bigger 
than the original uh, D-pad on this. By the way, I'm fairly certain that Donkey Kong was the first Nintendo product to actually feature the D-pad. Might even be the first D-pad that was ever made. But anyway, yeah, everything else feels absolutely identical. Look, you've still got uh, the three sort of buttons up here. You've got that metal, shiny sort of brushed finish on the top there. You've got the raised area for the screen. It's the same thickness, except on this side, you've got the super modern USB-C and you've got this little power switch. No idea if this has got any battery at all. I can say for certain, I like the way it looks, but looks are not everything. How does it actually function? Look at the screen, oh my goodness me. That is gorgeous. Yeah, the screen is phenomenal. It's so bizarre looking at a screen like that when we're so used to seeing liquid crystal um, displays like the calculator sort of thing. That is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, so it's saying to press the time button. And there we go, we're straight into time. Now before we get into that, let's talk about quite a funny story. So they have actually released this with a little Easter egg where you hold down A, and there you go, it plays the Mario drawing song, which is quite cool. Now the problem is that they've kind of screwed this up. Here's the statement that they released. Basically, if you have it in Russian or something or German, it will play it in the opposite. If you have it in Russian, it will play it in German. If you have it in German, it will play it in Gaelic. I don't really understand how they have managed to cock that up so badly, but they have. Let's press A. What? Am I the only person who's never heard of this song? And a little bird. What a waste of time that was. Why don't they just put another Game & Watch game on it? Right, let's play the actual Game & Watch game first because that is what this thing is. Uh, a Game & Watch, so let's press A. Lovely, it looks unbelievable. It feels authentic. It's the absolute correct size, so it feels really authentic, except you get a beautiful screen. Now, it's a shame that this is as good as it gets. I don't want another way to play Super Mario. I absolutely have no care in the world for that. Give me more Game & Watch games. Why would they waste this thing. Why? Why shove? I mean, I guess maybe if you look at it from a business perspective, it makes sense to put such an iconic game on it like Super Mario Bros because people will see that and go, take my money. But this just makes me sad. Let's go back onto the time screen. I think if you press some different buttons, there you go. If you press time, it will change the background, which is again, a waste of time. No, no pun intended. Give us some more Game & Watch games. Okay, let's play Super Mario Bros. Wow, what a great new experience. And I've never played this game before. Oh, why do they do this? 50 pounds, 50 pounds. I honestly have nothing else to say. I really don't. It's a Game & Watch, which plays one Game & Watch game. I mean, I guess they've kept it authentic to the original Game & Watch, which only played one game. But why? Why would they not just shove all of the Game & Watch games on there? How hard could that have been? Am I missing something? Please let me know in the comments why you think they might not have done that, besides the thing that I mentioned about people seeing the Super Mario Bros logo and wanting to buy it. But what an absolute shame. There's really not a lot else to say about it. It's just depressing. It's a beautiful little thing. I would love to take this with me. I'd like a little sleeve. In fact, ah, oh, 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 no, I better not. Oh no, I better not, but that did look like it was gonna fit. I mean, it's a shame it didn't come with a little pouch, but that is really being a bit pedantic there. I don't know what else to say. What, it, it's a 50 pound thing. If you're a collector, it's a no brainer because it's a thing that exists that Nintendo have released. It's clearly a cash grab. Uh, they obviously saw that Sega were making some pointless crap and then they decided, we'll do the same. And they've released this. Big shame, massive, massive hit and miss. Um, I'm, I'm really gutted. It is a beautiful thing. If someone comes up with a way to plug this into my IBM and then hack it to be able to put all of the different Game Watch games on there, 
I would pay for that. I would pay another £50 to have all of the Game & Watch games on here. Until then, I will never turn this thing on again after this video. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, is that Sega? Hello, is that Sega again?